listening to the sky. So we, we, we do the For the first time in history, gravitational waves were detected, but it all started 1.3 billion years ago. If you think of it as an astronomy observation, it's the first time that such, um, such a system has ever been observed, two black holes about that size in orbit around each other and coalescing into one. In other words, the black holes collided, sending gravitational this, waves into this, space. This is the, signal that we detect. the actual event that gave rise to this uh, gravitational waves is an extremely violent event. If it took not as much time for those waves to get to us, that would mean that that event would have happened much closer to us. You don't want events like that to happen very close to us. It took millions of years for these waves to reach Earth because of the event's distance from us. When they did, scientists and researchers at LIGO and Livingston discovered them. This discovery confirmed one of Einstein's theories he made 100 years ago. What Einstein told us is true. So it's a, I think, in my opinion, it's a big difference. So the general relativity, the theory of general relativity is now uh, experimentally proved. When the gravitational waves finally reach Earth, the actual occurrence that was detected was minute. Gravity happens when mass and energy curve space. In that curvature, it's possible to create ripples in, in space-time that ripple out at the speed of light and can carry the sort of an effect of gravity with them, a tiny amount of gravity with them. It's a very tiny effect. In fact, the, the, uh, the observation that we made in, in September changed the lengths of our four kilometer arms by something like one one thousandth the diameter of a proton. I'm standing here on the overpass and right behind me is one of the arms that first picked up the gravitational wave here at the LIGO facility in Louisiana. I think it changes the way um, people think of the universe is now different. Now we, we have another device to detect things happening in the universe. In the detectors are called interferometers. Both arms create an L shape at the observatory and are each four kilometers or two and a half miles long. These interferometer arms pick up interference, such as waves, and this technology came after decades of research and dozens of scientists around the world. But there's a much larger organization called the LIGO Scientific Collaboration, and that spans 15 countries and 1,000 people. And my colleague at LSU, Gabriela Gonzalez, she is the elected spokesperson of that. So there's a really strong Louisiana connection here. Both the spokesperson of the collaboration and, of course, the observatory itself are here. Months of study followed the initial observation before the news was ready to be shared. As soon as they have 100% convinced themselves that this is the real thing, they announced it to the world. But then every day I would come to work and we would do more investigating and it got firmer and firmer that this was the real deal. And it was just very exciting. Those first couple of weeks were a blur of activity. Observations will continue at different facilities in the United States, and in the future, additional observatories like LIGO will be built around the world to accurately pinpoint the location of the black holes. For North Shore News, I'm Maria Goddard.